Uh, let's bring, we have Tracy Hansen Fairbanks with us here today from Jefferson Elementary. Hello, Hi, Tracy. Tracy. How are you guys having a car show? Yes, it's our fifth annual car show. Where's Jefferson Elementary? It's in Clovis. Um, it's right there on the corner of Sean Fowler, so it's okay. pretty easy to see. Mm -hmm. um, why do you have the car show? What's it to benefit? 100% of it goes right back to the students. It's a Title I school, so we benefit. Um, the students need a lot of outside help and with families. And what do you mean by Title I school? I don't know what that is. Um, a Title I school is uh, the demographics of the school is on a lower uh, financial scale, and they have um, either a lot of times it's uh, English as a second language as well. Really? So they get extra funds and... Um, it's Sean, things. Fowler, and Clovis. The, the English is a second language for a lot of the children? Yes, actually. Yeah. Well, what's their first language? Um, sometimes it's Hmong, sometimes it's Spanish. Mm -hmm. um, I don't speak either. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, so when I, like, I teach preschool, so a lot of times when the children come in, they don't speak any English at all. Wow. So. Now, you said the money goes back to the children. In, in, in form of cash? You're uh, just... No, so the money go, gets posited into our checking account, and then we get to spend it on things that we feel the children need. So like clothing? Sometimes it's, yeah, sometimes it's outside things that they may need, but sometimes it is for uniforms, um, also for... A Title I school, they have to wear uniforms? No, like sport uniforms. Okay, all right. Things that a lot of times the school budget can't necessarily afford, the parent-teacher club will mm -hmm. take that the money that we raise, and we basically put it back into the school so we'll get drum for the drummer we'll have new microphones or costumes or um, do you have a music program at that school yes they do awesome they do awesome. and they could, a lot of those kids can't afford their own their own instruments. no no and one of them, I mean I had all three of my children go through Jefferson Elementary so it's like family and so actually I don't even have I'll any children at Jefferson I'll, I'll, anymore. I'll make, you, I'll make you a deal right now you, you got a kid that needs an instrument over there you let me know all right, okay. I will definitely we'll, let them we'll, know. We'll get it handled. All right. All right. I, will okay. I will definitely get that to the principal. All right. So. Okay. So the car show is when? It is May 9th. It's, the, it's always the second Saturday in May. I know it's Mother's Day weekend, but um, hey. we have a great turnout. I have our faithful uh, gentlemen and women who come every year, and we're trying to get the word out to more of – actually, we're trying to get a, the word out to high school students. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a great opportunity for the high schoolers to who have nice cars, nicer than mine, it seems mm -hmm. like, and to be a part of a community, to give back to a, uh, an elementary school and actually be there with their family. They get to sit there all day. There's music. There's vendors. Is there an uh, entry fee to get in? Um, to get into, to see the cars, no. It's free. Uh -huh. um, to um, enter a car, it's $20. We're one of the cheapest um, registration fees. And right now, the top, the first 50 get a nice big, like, my glass stein uh -huh. that says, you know, our car show, 5th annual. That's awesome. Whose idea was it to start this? Um, mine. So I want to thank my principal because he really, he was really nervous and hesitant about it. Um, Gloria and Rick Lacey are my cohorts in crime and they go to lots of them. And so I said, hey, help me get one for the school. And I make about three or four thousand right, dollars for the, right for the school. So. That's nice. That's it. Now, do, do you guys, uh, other than this, what else do you guys do to raise money over there? Uh, in October, there's the school carnival. Mm -hmm. So, and that's more centered for the children. The children come and they buy tickets, there's rides, there's bounce houses. Um, this tries, to, and it seems like our families can only spend so much at the carnivals. So, this is an opportunity for us to bring in the community to help raise money for the school as well. Um, Jefferson is one of the oldest elementary schools in Clovis, and so. We had the opportunity to, when people come, they're like, oh, yeah, I remember when I went to that school. So there are a lot of, a lot of people who have gone to Jefferson and have never left Clovis and really want to support an elementary school that they went to. You know, 1972 was the first time I came to Fresno. My aunt and uncle had moved here. And they lived on Shaw and Fowler, and I swear to God, we got off we got off the freeway at 99 and Shaw, and it felt like forever to get out to Shaw and Fowler. Like there, it was so far out there, but yeah. it's so built up now. It's it, it's amazing. It is. I mean, and our school has gone through a lot of renovations through through Clovis Unified, and um, it doesn't look the same, but it definitely has that feel. You can definitely tell that it's one of the older schools and. Um, our t-shirts this year will have the old building, the old one of the original mm -hmm. buildings um, on our t-shirts this year to kind of commemorate five years and Fun. 
bringing it in. So if there's any uh, hot rod enthusiasts out there that yes. have the hot rods that want to show them off at the uh, the car show, it's only twenty bucks. Yes. That entry fee, the money goes to the kids. Yes, all of it, all of it. Um, everything that we do that we spend is usually through sponsors. So I have sponsors that um, sponsor the car show. Um, Pet Boys is one of the bigger bigger ones that donate a lot. And we have raffles, and we have silent auctions. We have vendors. So all of everybody that participates donates either time or money or um, items, and then that's so all the money that we get goes back because I don't spend a cent. That's awesome. So that's awesome. Okay, May 9th at May 9th. Jefferson Elementary Corner, yes. Sean Fowler. Yes, and so, I'll be at the Tower District this weekend passing out flyers. Great. I'll, so, I'll see you out there. Okay? Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for Appreciate coming it. by.